Hello and welcome to Shirt Shop Empowered by Classic Football Shirts. If you're not familiar with this series, it's a series in which myself and a guest go shopping for Classic Football Shirts. They have $500 to spend today because we're in a very special episode in Classic Football Shirts, New York temporary location, which you can see on screen with the address. They also have a permanent location in Manchester and London and tens of thousands of items online. And you can save 10% by using the code AWAYDAYS at checkout online. And also, thanks to CFS sponsoring this series, one of you can win a £50 voucher for the website. All you have to do is comment our guest's best purchase, like this video and subscribe to the channel. Speaking of today's guest, we're joined by Lioness and FC Bayern star, Georgia Stanway. Welcome to Shirt Shopping. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? You are a shirt collector yourself. Yeah, I've got a few. I've got a few, so I'm excited to be here today. Yeah, I'm very excited. I think we should get right into this. Just get right into it. Let's go for it. Come on then. Right, this is current season. When a new kit comes out, whether it's for the national team or your club, are you someone who's really excited to see it and really cares about what it looks like or are you not someone who's bothered? A bit of both. Yeah. Um, I think I care because obviously you care what you're wearing, but at the same time you know that shirts change so fast. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I really, really appreciate when a shirt is so nice, it's smart, you feel good when you're wearing it and then obviously hope that means you play good. And also buying have like... Every year, the Oktoberfest shirt they bring out. Yeah. It's such a cool club to play for yeah. in that sense, because every year it's sick. Or yeah. maybe it's something hit but it's mostly sick. <laughs> yeah. No, it's unreal. The one that we played in last season, it's called we call it the Wiesen shirt. So it's okay. like the Oktoberfest, but yeah, in German. Um, and it was green, and it was unbelievable. Yeah. But it's a shame that we only get to wear it once. Yeah, one wear. Do you keep it? Yeah, keep yeah. it. Yeah, because a lot of players, I don't think players realise like how valuable their shirts are. Like some of them go for like tens of thousands, so like that's a good pension. But it's also yeah, like, my shirt definitely does not go for that. I, 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 you, I think maybe there's a satin shirt or two of yours that was like. But um, anyway, talking about shirts and ones you keep, any swaps yeah. that stand out to you from players in your career? Any swaps? Um, so I like to get from opposition um, when an opposition has yeah had a really really good game or it's somebody that I enjoy the way that they play um, or somebody that's just an icon. Yeah. Um, but I also really like to swap with my own teammates. Um, so I remember one that stood out with me in the 2019 World Cup um, in France. Yeah. It was my first major tournament in with the seniors, and it was Kaz Carney's last tournament. Um, and yeah, I managed to get one of her shirts from one of the games. So yeah, that's something that stuck with me. We were proper England legend as well. Like it must be unbelievable to get that. Is it like a surreal feeling when you walk in to, like your first big tournament and knowing you're there and you are like you've made it. Like you're with these people that have like like trailblazed. How does that feel? Yeah, it's crazy. It takes a little bit of like. Yeah, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but you also never really get used to it. Yeah. Because I was like, I say that I'm born at the perfect time in terms of like women's football's growth. Like I was able to come through, I was able to go professional at such a young age. But then I was watching the people that I was playing with. Yeah. So it's like almost like they were my idols. So yeah. I know at first I was a little bit starstruck. I was a little bit just watching what's going on. But then as soon as I got more confident, I could express my personality. So you've been with England since under 15s, right? Is that is that right? Yeah. So if not on a yeah. Ford, but no, yeah, yeah. Right. no. Since under 15s, um, that was the first age group like in the youth setup. Um, Do you remember getting that first call up? And was that different to getting your first senior call up? Because when you're younger, I imagine it's even more like what is going yeah. on. Like no, I remember being at school um, and school had just finished and I'd got on my phone and then. My mum had forwarded me an email and it was to say that I'd been selected for the under 15s. We had two um, friendlies against um, Republic of Ireland. Um, and at the time, my school was in a different town okay. and I would get the bus to, to go home. Yeah. Um, and my granddad lived in that town and it's maybe like a 300 metre hill. And I ran the 300 <laughs> metre hill to go and tell my granddad and amazing. then made my granddad drive me home because I was too excited. <laughs> right. We can talk more, well, we'll talk about England, I'm sure, more, but yeah. I actually want you to look, as a shirt collector yourself, yeah. flick through these and tell me which ones stand out for you in the current season. Okay. Obviously, people are here for classics, and I'm sure you are as well, but let's, yeah. let's talk about some of these first. Okay. okay. Personally, really like this one, the purple. Yeah, I think it's, it's special, and I feel like when you're all black, it's so smart. Yeah. Like, the shorts are black, the socks are black. Also, not two English players trailblazing out in Germany. I think there's always such an aura of an English player in Germany, like, or just abroad. Like, yeah. English players abroad, like, hasn't really felt like a thing until like five, ten years like ago. You had it like sporadically, but now yeah. it feels like, what is it like and what's the difference playing over there? Oh, good question. Um, I feel like the difference for me is I just wanted something new. Like, I wanted yeah. to escape England. I wanted to Same. Ju yeah, just experience and emerge myself in a different culture, a different environment, go somewhere that I had no opinion of, yeah. nobody else had an opinion of, and it was just kind of like, yeah, it was just a surprise. Um, okay. But yeah, I love it. 
Is there any that stand out to you? Oh, what a question. That's just an honour. <laughs> um, Venezia is obviously like, they've made themselves like a fashion brand, basically. Yeah. But I don't really like this, personally. See, I'm going to go against that and say I do like that. But I'm currently stood here in these jeans, so obviously I'll, we'll probably take your <laughs> Oh, you look cool today. <laughs> do you think so? Yeah. Compliments. <laughs> Compliments to the chef. To the chef. He's cooking. I think genuinely the Lionesses have the best, some of the best England shirts of all time. The one we, well, we, I was there, when we, I was actually there, but anyway, we won the Euros in. It's like, well, yeah. the, maybe the best England shirt ever made. I'm not just saying that. I think it's so, so sick. I think it's just like classic. Like it was all white with like the metallic badge. Yeah. And then obviously the shirt goes down in history now. It is historic. Like you, yeah. you go down in history as well. Like how does that, are you, how many times have you spoken about that day? It must be like... Oh, too many times. Yeah. But you never get sick of it. I was going to say, oh, let's talk about it. We've got, we've got an hour. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I remember that tournament, like going in, I did every England game and yeah. I did some of the other games I did, like I remember doing France, Belgium, no, France, Holland, yeah. um, and like, loads of the other games. And I remember I was on, there was, before I think the game at Old Trafford, there was a bus that yeah. went to the game and loads of fans following it. I remember being on top of that bus and thinking like, this is it. It was yeah. like, oh my God, this, is, this feels like I'm part of history. And it was so, you, did you feel that in the camp throughout the tournament? Did you know how special what um, you were doing was? Not just for the, the tournament, but the game as a whole. Yeah, I think we had a good feeling, but it was like, we needed to make that happen. Yeah. So like, we never got too far ahead of ourselves. We never spoke about anything. We never like, planned anything in advance. It was always just spontaneous because we knew that if you plan something, then you might jinx it yeah. or things might change. So like, it was almost like, we just focused on the game, then that happened, we put that to bed, and then it was the next one. Yeah. Like, I've never been in an environment that was like, so calm, so like, relaxed. Like, we're winning games by like, high numbers, like confidence, like, especially like the Norway game. We beat them like, 8-0. <laughs> and it was like, we all looked around and was like, is this really happening? Like, it just felt crazy, but then we couldn't get caught up with what was going on. Yeah. So it was like, yeah, it was like one of the most chilled environments I've been in, even though we, like the underlining was the fact that we knew something special was about to happen. And you guess you kept every, did you keep, please tell me you kept your shirt. Yeah, I've got my shirt. That, see, when I said shirts were thousands, that is worth thousands. <laughs> yeah. So just never get rid of it. Yeah. It is, um, and yeah, it must be the best day of your life, right? Yeah, it but was Surely sick. nothing's going to come close to that. Yeah, it was unreal. Um, there's a few up there where I'm like, okay, that was an unbelievable experience. But I think what we created on that day, like the legacy that had been built over the last, like the three weeks to the yeah. final, I think, no matter what had happened in that final, we knew that we were going to be successful off pitch yeah. in terms of being able to inspire, being able to get more girls into football, being able to increase accessibility, inclusivity. We knew that we could do that yeah. no matter what the result was. And then the result was just yeah, the icing on the cake. I was stood in the German section for some reason and I gave this guy a hug at full time and said, unlucky, he went, oh, I don't need you to give me unlucky. We won it seven times anyway. And I was like, oh, <laughs> Off then. Like, 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 oh, don't have my generosity. Like, oh, right, let's yeah. keep going around anyway. This is really weird, right? I'm English, you're English. Yeah. I'm going to be in Germany for a month. You live in Germany. Why are we both in New York? Like, what, 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 how come you're here? Um, I just wanted to give my time up um, and give back a little bit. Um, so I knew that I'd always wanted to do like a charity event or like partner with some sort of foundation just to give back my time um, and yeah this summer felt like the right thing to do and I teamed up with Bayern, I teamed up with my agency um, and they made some really good links um, in New York and in Miami um, where we're going to deliver football sessions. That is yeah unreal, Yeah, fair play. Yeah. So it's cool, it is yeah. cool. Yeah, because I, I would not be that generous of my time. <laughs> <laughs> right, take a look through this round and let's talk about some classic Bayern shirts. Yeah. Oh, it's sick. Matthias on the back. Yeah, no, that is sick. Do you want me to put it on my arm? Because I feel like, but the problem is that's like a bit of tuck over, you tuck, you know, like tuck them Yeah, roll. it's better tuck when things roll. are oversized, isn't it? Yeah. Right, we'll think about that one. Okay. That might be a potential. That might be a potential. But I also really like the colour of this one. Lucas Podolski, he was my idol growing up. Yeah? Yeah, that left foot of his. Christ. Yeah, special. We didn't have many idols for Leeds. So I was like, who, who's got, <laughs> he was good on FIFA. <laughs> for Leeds, you know. Yeah. It's unfortunate that you're a Leeds fan. Is it? Yeah, it's unfortunate yeah. you're a Blackburn fan, right? Newcastle. Why have I gone Blackburn there? Sorry. I was at Blackburn Academy. It's the Shearer link. That's what it is. Yeah. 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 So was Shearer like an idol growing up? Must be Newcastle. Yeah, right? he was. Um, I just loved the way that he played. I loved like, yeah, his eye for goal. The fact that he had like moments of madness, which like 
yeah, created such an aura around him. You were never uh, like wanting to be a striker, like flat out, just like number nine. I tried, but I'm not <laughs> fast enough. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. You're like, so I got further and further back. Did you ever? Would you ever wheel out the celebration this year? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We played at St James's Park a few weeks ago, and I was thinking, okay, if I can get one shot off, or if I can get something then I would pull it off, but never happened. All right, so next, I actually want to see it next time, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tweet you going, this is part, it's not my doing at all. <laughs> it's actually Alan's doing. Alan, first name term. If you're watching Alan, please come on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> but keep going anyway, but yeah. Yeah, no, I really like these kits. They're sick, aren't they? Yeah, they're so sick. Well, are, you, are you someone who would wear a kit out as fashion? Some players are like, no, it's my, my uniform, so I wouldn't do it. Um, yeah, I would actually wear a shirt as fashion. Um, I've kind of got a little thing at the moment where I'm becoming a tattoo artist. Yeah. Um, and the two times that I've tattooed um, for cameras, I've been wearing a retro shirt, and the shirt's actually been from Classic Football. Has it? Yeah. Did you use the code away days at checkout? Always. <laughs> <laughs> Why tattoo artist? Did you want something that just as a hobby, like? Just something completely different. I've always interested you tattoos. Um, tattoos have always interested me. Like I've got a lot myself. Yeah. Um, and I spent a lot of time in the studio, and it just kind of, yeah, I kind of fell in love with the studio that I was in in Munich, um, and I fell in love with the people, and it was kind of just like a, I want to give it a go. Um, yeah. So I've been learning for like the past eight months now, um, and yeah, I absolutely love it. It's like just my break away from football. It's like. Is it therapeutic? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like therapeutic and it's like um, when you're doing it, it takes obviously longer than what you think it does. Mm. And that's just like an hour of not thinking about absolutely anything. Okay. And it's like a time when you can be creative, you can have yeah that escape away from football, like nothing else matters uh, apart from absolutely sh yourself in case you do something wrong. Have you ever seen like any awful tattoos? Yeah. Yeah. I saw yours earlier. <laughs> I don't have any tattoos, what are you on about? I've not got one tattoo. Yeah, for anyone watching, I do actually have a tattoo that will never be seen because it's awful, isn't it? It's so bad. No, it's cool. It's different, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Just like trying to be the most PR heavy answer of all time. It's actually really different, it's like, yeah. which means <laughs> Can't keep going anyway. Let right, me know I've about any of these I've blind I've pulled shots. out two which I like. Okay, show me the, show me the two. Is the Bedol I really like oh, these two. Okay. Okay, what is it about these that stands out? Just like they feel very traditionally Bayern. Yeah, and I feel like I like just the classic red. Yeah. Um, I've got a Bayern one at the moment, which is the um, the blue and red stripy opal. Oh, like this um, era. Yes. What was the year of it? Nineteen ninety-six. Between four and eight. Yeah, something like that. Ninety-four to ninety-eight, one of them years. Yeah. But that's a, a cool one. Opal sponsor was so cool as yeah. well. Like, I love it. That I think whole the sponsor kit was makes or breaks sick. it. That yeah, just that. reminds me of Schweinsteiger. Yeah. All right, do you want these on my arm for now? And I do actually share the same number as Schweinsteiger. There so, we go. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Which one do you reckon? Hmm. If I had to pick, if it was me, I would go for that one. Okay, get it. But on I the saw arm. you looking directly at that one, so now I feel like I made a bad decision for you. No, that is a good decision. Also, the name set is a bit, is a bit you know, what are we doing on that yeah. Come on, let's sort yeah. it out. But I, I also like this front bit because it's different. Yeah, I love like a up collar, like yes. a roll collar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roll collar. Is that you? <laughs> this is my job. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get these. Are, this is where people really tend to go like a bit crazy. What was it like, obviously, winning the league title at Bayern? Must have been really Yeah, it was incredible. Special. Yeah. Yeah. I think. I'm going to say it again, but I feel like I moved at the perfect time. Yeah. As in, like, we had a new manager, we had a, some new players. It really feels like buying a building something for the future, and it's exciting to be part of it. Yeah, also, imagine the beer celebration when the league title is done. <laughs> it's amazing, right? <laughs> yeah, it's cool. But it's different because in England, you would never be allowed to do that. No, no idea. So, like, there's beer on the pitch, there's, like, the massive, like, yeah, well, I want to say it's like 10 like... pints yeah. in one glass. So I think Future Classics are more shirts that try and be a bit out there. Okay, so and a little bit wilder. Yeah, so like this Inter Milan shirt, for example, right? Like it's not the generic straight stripes, yeah. they zigzagged it. Yeah, they, they, no, I like they've it. got a bit of flair in there, a bit of pizzazz. Yeah. Pizzazz? Is that a word? Pizzazz, yeah. This is nice, this is really nice. Yeah, that is really nice. It also gives me like fan vibes. Yeah, okay. As in like... Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, there's the, like, I'm not a fan. We found a Nike. Yeah, Pumas. Yeah, it's different, isn't it? Yeah, the big lion. 
Right, let's get you to these classics. I noticed one on the wall before. Which one are we looking the at? The is sick. Yeah, that is sick. Do you want to get it on my arm? Yeah, let's have a look at it. Okay. Yeah, it's sick, that, isn't it? <laughs> Should we, I might look at the price and then be like, free exit, that's fine, we're in budget. Okay, we but yeah, hold it. Hold You've got it. hold and give, but can, do it out the right yeah. time. We might have to come back to it. Yeah, I thought you were going to carry on the John Barnes wrap then. <laughs> <laughs> the hold it back. So what is one shirt in your collection that really stands out to you that you've bought, purchased from classic football shirts? So I've got the um, an old England one with Southgate on the back. Of course. I've got um, the Bayern Opel with Shawl on the back. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I've got a Newcastle one. Also, this 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 shirt will fit. They fit so tight. Like, how on earth is anyone playing football in that? It's like an Under Armour. And also, like, whenever Kappa made okay, so Kappa made lead shirts for a while, yeah. and you'd see like these men who were like football fan dad yeah. pods, and they're in these really tight shirts. I'm like, <laughs> mate, just just don't, just get an old shirt. <laughs> just stop. <laughs> you might have to help me with my choices. Really, you're trusting me? Well, I think you've got a very it's solid. It's your job. So. <laughs> <laughs> You want me to work? Like, <laughs> I'm just here. <laughs> okay, that's sick. That Germany shirt is sick. Yeah. Yeah, that's very sick. The Matthias on the back as well, Bayern yeah. legend. Right, hold that one. Yep. I feel like that's a, a connection because I'm in Germany. So what is it like living in Munich comparatively to Manchester? Um, I reckon the city's probably pretty similar. Yeah. Um, it's a similar vibe with people, like everybody's like friendly, welcoming. Um, I like it because it's like free spirit, as in yeah. You can wear whatever you want, you can do whatever you want. Like, it's a city that doesn't judge, um, which I really like. Yeah. Um, but yeah, in terms of what's there, I think it's pretty similar to Manchester. Like, okay. size wise, it's got the balance between like cool places, more like corporate places. No beans, bad beans. No beans. I've got beans, but it's True. bad beans. I've not found a, an English breakfast place yet, which is something I need <laughs> to find. What's your go to fry up? This is the real question. Like, what would you have? You have one English breakfast. Yeah. What's on it? Um, fried egg. Yeah. The then I'm going egg. sausage, bacon, beans, yeah. hash browns, tomatoes. Sort of lost me a bit there. Have I missed anything? Black pudding? No. No, yeah, no. Mushrooms? Avoid. Yeah, mushrooms I'll take. <sighs> yeah, you nearly had me. That would have been good. I'm, I'm avoiding mushrooms and black pudding. I don't get why people want to eat okay. black pudding. It's just just blood, the healthy stuff then. Yeah, I'm um, pure. Yeah, yeah, the peak <laughs> male performance. But <laughs> right, let's find, let's see what Newcastle shirts they've got and then okay. we'll get you to try them on. So here we have Premier League shirts. Nice. There's one spot out, well, one stands out for me straight away. Nice. I really like that. Yeah. Ian Wright on the back. The loveliest man in football. Yeah, and he's such an advocate for women's football, which I really, really respect. During the Euros, so he was like unbelievable. Like, yeah. and it, obviously he's maintained it since, but I yeah. remember his tweets every day, him crying on Twitter. <laughs> like, what was yeah. that like seeing that? He got, yeah. Surreal? No, it is surreal, but it's just nice that people want to support us and want to like, Ride the yeah, ride the storm with us. Yeah. Um, they're there for the highs and lows, and yeah, what they're doing at Arsenal is incredible. Yeah. Um, in terms of like next season, they'll play all their games at the Emirates. Like they're filling stadiums out. Like they've got the backing of yeah, class players. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think every team needs to take a leaf out of their book. Yeah, like big time. And then yeah, I think him he Add it to the especially. Arm. Add it to the arm. What we're we talking. That's fine. <laughs> right, I think, we're, I think we're all right now. I think we're good. I think yeah. we need to get these tried on. <laughs> you can, can I see the Beckham one? Thank you very much. That is the problem. Yeah, that That's is it. mega. Yeah, should I look at the price? Or should we just not um, look at the price? We're not look, we can, just, we can just try. Right, first one is on. I like it. I really like it's it. It's really good, isn't it? I like the colours. Yeah. Yeah, the tattoos are like are sick as well. Like, it's a little bit when you've got like, something on and there's something else going on. Yeah, yeah it works very well. I like no, it. I like it. I like it. I like the colours. Matches my outfit. Yeah, you fear for the budget here. You really do <laughs> fear for the budget. It's gonna be heavy. <laughs> Why you just looked at me like you were like? Because I'm waiting for your reaction. What is? Uh, I like one it. of the best France shirts of all time. Yeah, it's sick. Yeah. I like it because I've not got France. Yeah. Like I've got Germany, I've got England, Newcastle. I like it because it's different, and obviously the back. Cantona on the back, right? Pretty special. Oh, the budget is is really in danger here because we're already over. <laughs> we're already over budget. It's all right. We can whittle it down. We'll figure I'll try out. Try again. Yeah. I'm going to make the argument that what that team did for England was priceless anyway. So this is our token of appreciation. 
Also, I'm pretty sure I broke my hand last night. <laughs> this is really weird for the video, but I'm pretty sure I've like at least chipped a bone in my hand last night. And I don't know how, because I've not punched anything. Look at me. If anything, I'm being punched, but I'm not punching. Right, next one. Yeah. Sick. Yeah, sick. We're there. Yeah. yeah. This is cool. Yeah, Bayern as well. Was anyone on the back again? No one on the yeah. back? Oh, Luca Tony. Yeah. He had his own son. There's a website called Luca Tony, but this is me being ADD here. <laughs> he had a website, you go on and you clicked Luca Tony button and you just sung a song about Luca Tony. Oh, wow. Yeah. Anyway, more about football shirts. I no, like I like this. I really like this. <laughs> no, it's cool. It is cool, and obviously, classic, one of the best England shirts of all time. Yeah. What did the guy say before? He made his debut in this shirt. Against Moldova. Never went to the tournament. No. Yeah, really, so, uh, it's really controversial. Yeah, it is cool. It is yeah. cool. I don't know if it's anything. It's not mind blowing. Yeah, like the others have surprised me. Whereas this one's like just pretty, it's smart but casual. Yeah, okay. It's the best one. Yeah, I really like it. And also, and I, like, we're being right as well. Yeah, and I would wear it with this outfit. I can imagine the Instagram post going like mad as well <laughs> with you having an Ian Wright shirt. Arsenal on. fans. Yeah. All right, we have decisions to make, then we'll get you yeah, checked we out. Do, we do. Let's do some maths. Okay. Because remember the exchange rate. There is an exchange rate here that needs okay. to be factored in. Okay. I did say five hundred dollars in the intro, but I'm not the man I was an hour ago. <laughs> I think these three are my favourites so far. I okay. I recently got. Do you know the? Um, Travel tracksuit that Germany are wearing at the moment. Yeah. So I've yeah. recently got that green one. Okay. So I feel like this could be factored out because it's quite similar. Because you've got this, you've basically got it, yeah. and that is inspired by that anyway. Yeah. So it's like and cheaper. And I'm gonna get rid of this one. Okay. Because I feel like it's good, it's unique, it's got a story, but them three I think look better on. Okay, I'm also making an executive decision. We're not done. Let's just get the three. It's fine. You sure? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Let's do it. Let's get you yeah. checked out. Thank Come you on very then. Much. Top purchases. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very much for coming on. Hopefully you'll see me wearing these and doing some tattoos. I will be so, I will feel like just the proudest person ever. I'll be like, that was me, and somehow. <laughs> but every guest that comes on, I ask them to suggest someone to come on. Have you got anyone in mind? I'm gonna go with Harry Kane. We talked about him earlier, obviously fellow Bayern. Yeah. And I'm sure he's got some good football knowledge. You'd hope so. Harry, please come on. By the time this goes out, you might have won the Euros. Hopefully. Hopefully. If you want to win a £50 voucher for classic football shirts, all you have to do is like this video and comment George's best purchase. But for now, I've been Alice, and I'll see you very soon for more football shirt content and more away days. Ciao, ciao, bye. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Everyone gets ciao, ciao, bye. Has it got a meaning? I did it once in lockdown and people liked it and then it stuck, but it's, yeah. Okay, fair. Do you not like it? Okay, ciao, ciao, bye. Could that be another celebration? <laughs> <laughs> but, all right, geez. if I score and I remember, I'll do it for you. All right, that's a no, that's a no but it's like... It's <laughs> Right. <laughs> Three minutes back. Rap. <laughs>